this week's episode of Live Large. So here we're doing TheraBand lateral raises, an excellent finisher or a way to kickstart your workout to ensure that your lateral and rear delts are activated and they're really engaged. You shouldn't be swaying at all. There should be zero, zero movement from your upper body if you really want to bring out those shoulders. That requires concentration and focus and uh, using the right speed of movement so that you feel your shoulders working and nothing else. But now you're a WBF Pro fitness model. People look at you now like, wow, you're associated with the top fitness models in the world now. So what is what are you trying to obtain by, by competing yeah. WBF? Well, you know, I obviously want to arrive, get on stage, and mentally know there wasn't anything else I could have do in the past eight, nine weeks to be at ready for the show. So mentally I want to be able to walk off stage and say, even if I got last place, I brought my best. I'm going to be giving you guys a very rare opportunity to come inside my home and see exactly what I'm eating in preparation for the WVFF World Fitness Model Championships. You're going to love this. It's a 10 ounce steak, normally sirloin, but sometimes I mix it up. I try and find venison, bison. I like to rotate protein sources. So I have two scoops of this, which is about um, 40 grams, 15 minutes after that. And this all happens within the car ride home. So this is actually in the gym. This is in the basically as soon as I get home or in the car ride home. I always go with some form of white fish. I like to rotate around, but fish is very fast digesting, so I want it in my bloodstream fast. So we're coming on to meal one, two, three, four, five, six. This is meal seven. Hey, what's up guys? So we're back with Dan Long here in downtown Tampa, Florida, and uh, this week we want to follow up with him and find out what he's doing for the community. Something I'm doing specifically, I had a client of mine that's remaining anonymous that inspired me. It's 27 years old. She's suffering from second stage cancer right now. Um, it's grown another 10% and I felt like I wasn't giving enough to inspire her. Dan identified a problem. He then took his own resources to attack the problem with his own passion and by simply taking action he's making a huge impact on the community, other people's individual lives and um, I think that's tremendous and it's something that we can all learn from.